Ave Maria. We're going to begin with an A major chord. Now you don't have to put the first finger down because we're not going to use that string. And you're going to hit the open five, three, two, back to three. We go thumb, index, middle, index. So it's repeats. Now we're going to hit thumb, second and first strings. Like that. So it's finger is going to act as a guide finger up to the fifth fret on that second string and then your first finger will be at that third fret on the first string. Then we're going to go down to this. You got a third finger at the third fret, second string, and then first finger at the second fret, first string. And then you're just going to take that first finger down. I think that's a cool little change. You've got D major. D minor. Third finger goes down to the second fret, and we have that A major again. Now what I do with this is I will start off softly, crescendo up to forte, and then bring it back down. I will also speed up, slow down a little bit. So I might go... measure three the melody comes in and throughout this piece you're going to always want to make sure that that melody is louder than the bass line or those inner voices there's a lot going on with the inner voices but a lot of it is just filling out the harmony that you have so you always want to make sure that that melody comes out so i will use rest stroke on that first string there are times when i won't use rest stroke on the melody um, in which case I'll just try and hit it a little bit harder. So we're going to begin with a half bar at two, and then your pinky is going to be fifth fret, open five plus first string, three, two, three. So you have this. Then this turns into a full bar. And what I'll do is I'll keep that first finger down when I go from here. And that just, like, if it's still ringing, it allows it to ring a little bit more. You have this. Third finger goes to that second string, fourth fret. And then my pinky just goes to the fourth fret. And then back up to the fifth fret. So you have this. And then we're going to go there. So open six plus third fingers at that ninth fret. And then two, four, two. So you have this. If this is the same as a D major chord, just refingered a little bit up here. See so this. Harmonic is going to be 7th fret, 5th string. And I use my first finger to get that. And then pinky is going to go down to the G sharp, which is that ninth fret. And then first finger catches the D, 7th fret. And then you have a melodic note come in right there. So the second half of measure three goes like this. And then we're going to get into this chord right here. So it goes into an F sharp minor chord. You hit the fourth and the first strings. Half bar at seven. And you're going to hit the fourth and first strings. And then a little pull off. So ninth fret down to the seventh. And then you go down to here. So fifth fret, first string. So I'm just going fourth finger, third finger, second finger, third finger. So that measure is going to go like this. finger is on that sixth fret third string so you hit the fifth and the first string three two three open five and then first string and then that third string 
And again, I'll do rest stroke on that first string, rest, rest, like that. And then we're going to go, the second half of that measure, we're going to go third finger down on the E sharp, which is the same thing as F, which is your sixth fret on that second string. So you have this, like that. And then it's, and then you go seventh fret, fifth fret, and then, so third finger goes to that fourth fret, fourth string, and then pinky is on that fourth fret, first string. And then we're gonna go all the way up to the ninth fret, and then to the 11th fret. So slowly that little section is gonna go like this. We have this. Like that. So that measure is gonna go like this. Now we're going to go down to the 6th position, 1st finger is going to be at the 6th fret on the 4th um, string, and then you've got your pinky on that ninth fret. So you've got this, so you've got 3rd finger, 8th fret, 2nd finger is going to be 7th fret. And this is a case where I will just put fingers down when I need them. So you're, before you're here, so I'll get those two down, and then this one and that one. Pinky is going to go to the 8th fret, and then it goes to the 9th fret 2nd string, like that. So you have this, like that, and then you have bar at 7. So middle finger is going to be on the 8th fret on that 5th string. You'll hit that plus the first string. And then your third finger is going to be at the ninth fret on the second string. Like that. So you have this. Pinky hits the tenth fret. Like that. So the first three beats of measure six are going to go like this. You got that. Pinky goes down. Pinky goes here. And then third finger goes there and then pinky goes there now we have this um, a group of six notes together so I do a bar I keep the bar at seven and then your third finger is going to catch the ninth fret on the second string first string third finger pinky back to the bar and then third finger is going to be on that ninth fret second string so it's Now what I'll do with that, um, and I, one thing I did with this piece is I listen to vocalists sing and how they do these little phrases. They often don't play them evenly, whereas you break six, you know, six notes in the space of one beat. But they might go, or, so you want to make it very melodic and vocal-like. So my recommendation is to listen to some performers, some singers, some really good singers, sing this song and hear how they phrase these little sections right there. So that measure, measure six, goes like this. All right, then we have this chord. We've had this before. It's an F sharp minor chord. So you're just hitting the fourth and first strings, and then hit that, and then I take this off, I then lay my finger down as a bar, and I, I catch that second string, D sharp. So you have this, and then ninth fret, seventh fret, keep this finger there, you're going to go first finger is going to go 6th fret on that 4th string. And then your pinky is going to catch the ninth fret on the 3rd string. So this is kind of a finger twister here. You have this, open 2nd, and then 
you're gonna go ninth fret on that second string. So that again, that me that beat's gonna go like this, like that. And then we have another one of these little phrases. So you're gonna go sixth fret on the third string, middle finger's gonna be seventh fret on the second string. And I do a bar, I do a half bar, because you're gonna hit that first string. You're gonna hit the third and second together, and then the first string, pinky goes up to the ninth fret, up to the twelfth, first finger goes to the ninth, third finger goes to the A sharp, which is the eleventh fret on the second string. So slowly it's gonna go like this. So that measure slowly goes. Bar at seven. Third finger's gonna go there, pinky's gonna go here. So third finger's on that ninth fret third string, pinky's ninth fret second string, outer two strings, and then open first string. So what I do is I keep these fingers down, I just lift up on the bar. And the reason I keep them down is just to let the strings ring a little bit longer. Like that. And then we have and then we have another little group of six notes in the space of a, a beat. So after this, open second string. It slowly is gonna go first finger, second fret, fourth fret, second finger. And then you're gonna do a two pull-offs. So pull off from pinky to the second finger, and then pull off from second finger to the first finger. So it's that. So those two beats are going to go and then first finger goes down to that second fret and then open sixth string open first string. First finger is going to go to the G sharp which is on that first fret third string. Open outer two strings third string open second open first string open second. So it goes like this. So measure eight is going to go like this. All right, measure nine. We're going to go pinky is going to go on that seventh fret. And then two, three. And this is a case where I put this down first, and then these two down. And then that first string, like that. So you have this. Now we're gonna hit those strings we just played. You're gonna hit the sixth string, the fourth, the third, and the first string. And we're gonna go down to the, take off the pinky. First finger is now gonna be at the sixth fret. Back to the pinky. Pinky goes up to the ninth. So slowly it's going to go like this. And notice the rhythm is going to be long, short, long, short. So you have this. Like that. Third finger is going to go to the seventh fret and then I do a half bar at five. Middle finger is now at the eighth fret on the, middle finger is now at the sixth fret on the third string. Pinky goes up to the ninth fret and then take off the three and four so you can get that note covered by the bar. So it's followed by open, followed by your second string. So again, it's open six, third string, first string, second string. So slowly that measure goes. Same chord, we're going to hit that chord again, pinky goes off, so first finger catches that 6th fret, and we're back to the pinky, pinky goes up 10th fret, pinky goes down to the ninth fret, 
second finger goes there. So that's slowly is going to go. And then we're going to form that F sharp minor seven, F sharp minor chord again. So that whole me that whole second half of that measure is this F sharp minor chord. So slowly that measure goes like this. Measure 11. We've got open 6 plus that 7th fret. 2nd finger goes to that 6th fret 4th string. Open 2nd string and then 1st string. So it's going to go. Now we're going to do a C sharp major chord. So 9th fret. So if you know C major, it's just going to be one more fret this way. We've got that. So after this, we're going to hit that first string again, and again, Pinky is going to get the 12th fret second string, plus that first string again. So it's, one more time, alright, so after the C sharp minor chord, what we're going to do is, Pinky is going to go to the 12th fret on the first string, and you're going to do a, a pull off. I put my middle finger down to the 10th fret on that first string. So you've got, and then third finger is going to go to the 11th fret on third string. So you have, so again, it's harmonic 12th fret, second string. And then I do a bar at seven, third finger goes to that ninth fret on the fifth string. So you have this. So slowly that measure is going to go. Keep the bar, we're going to do another little pull off, ninth fret down to the 7th, and then 3rd um, string, 1st string, 2nd string, so it's, and then we have another one of these little um, 6 notes within a beat, so it's going to go, I do a bar at 4, just for the beginning part of it, and then your middle finger is going to be 5th fret, 1st string, take off the middle finger, middle finger goes down, 8th fret, 7th fret, 5th fret. So slowly it's, and then pinky, 7th fret, 1st string, and then 6th fret on the 4th string. 2nd string, 4th string, 6th string, 4th string, 3rd finger goes to the 7th fret, on that third string. So again, it's so that measure goes like this. All right, this just like the beginning, measure three. to an A major chord. Um, I do a half bar. I don't put the full A chord down, but what I do is I do a half a bar and then I have my third finger on the ninth fret, on the seventh fret, middle finger is going to be on the sixth fret, and I go open five plus the first string, fifth string again, open five. Now I take everything off but the middle finger. Hit that third string plus the first string, and then we have this, just like what we had in the opening. So again, it's like this. Then it's just like the introduction. Now we're going to go back to the beginning. Now we're going to go back to measure three and play that all again. And one thing I will do is often the second time I'll play it a little more free 
and a little more upon a cello. So I might be. So it's just something that's a little bit different uh, than the first time through. So once you do that repeat, you get to measure 16. I do a half bar. I do a four six bar, cover four of the six strings, second fret. Now we're gonna keep the first finger down and put the pinky on the fifth fret, third finger on the fourth fret, fourth string. Repeat. And then the last chord, is that. So you're going to hit the 6th, the 5th, the 4th, 